I'm talking to you on divine provision and care for God's faithful flock. Divine provision and care for God's faithful flock. God has made adequate provision for all needs in our lives. Adequate provision for all the needs of your life. All spiritual needs, all physical needs are provided for sufficiently. Pardon and peace, ours. Purity of heart, ours. Power with God and men, they are ours. Power over sickness, over self, that's ours. Okay, that's mine. Authority over evil spirits and over all situations and all circumstances. Authority over all the storms of life. They are mine. They are yours in Jesus' name. Abundant life. Who has abundant life? The thief cometh not but for to steal. Look at this. If you didn't have something precious, the thief will not come to steal nothing. It's because you have something. As I'm standing here, I have something. I have life, sage. I have eternal life. I have precious inheritance. And I have indestructible heritage. As you look at some Christians, it's like the road is raw. The mountain is high. The suffering is unbearable. I'm like Job. I'm like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire is burning too hot. No joy. No happiness. I have joy. And then heaven. Where am I going? Where are you going? I go to prepare a place for you. So that when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive. Who is he going to receive? Me now. I said, who is he going to receive? You know, some people, they go through life. Satan does not want me to get to heaven. And the way I'm looking at things, I don't know. Don't finish that sentence. God knows what you don't know. I will get there. I said, I will get there. You have children. If you don't have yet, you will have. And you are packing from one house to the other. And as you are packing from one house to the other, do you leave any of your children behind in the old house? Jesus came here. He led the earth, the old house, is gone to heaven, a better place, a more beautiful place, the home on high. Is he going to leave any of his children behind? He will not leave you behind. You know, sometimes when you are hungry, almost fainting, no strength, totally weak, and then you are called, it is supper time or breakfast time or lunch time and then you take that food and you drink water on it the weakness is gone am i right and all the fainting you know, everything is gone the same thing with the word of god when you eat the word when you take the word and the water of the word refreshes your life you will not be the same again in jesus name Many people don't talk and see they know that they have been purchased at a high price. From where were they purchased? We cannot just say from society. There was somebody that held you captive, wanted to waste your life, wanted to destroy your life, and you were helpless. You were his property. And now Jesus, with his blood, came and snatched you out from the hand of that one that held you captive and he purchased you with his precious blood he purchased you from whose hand i said he purchased you from whose hand 
I can't hear you. From Satan's hand. And he has not decided, and he will not decide. I purchase you because you are precious, and I purchase you from Satan's hands. I throw you back to the devil. Is he going to do that? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my inner heart. I will give you, tell me. Pastors, according to my heart, if God gives us any pastor at all, He gives us pastors according to His heart. If somebody chose another person and God is not involved, and He says, Go pastor that church, if God's hand is not there, if it is by the choice of the people, if it is by campaign, if it is by lobbying, give us the pastor and give us Mr. So and so. And that Mr. So and so is giving to them that so and so is not according to the heart of God. But when God decides to give us a pastor, that pastor will be according to his heart. In your life, no fear. In my life, no fear in your family no fear in your place of work no fear when you hear the word of god you understand that the almighty god determines every detail of your life enemy cannot the enemy cannot decide any detail in your life if they try they're wasting their precious time your life is in the hands of the almighty Psalm 107, I'm reading from verse 20. He sent his word, tell me, he sent his word, he sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. You are delivered. You're healed. That's the word. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. You're healed in Jesus' name. We feed on the word of God, and we have assurance. We have hope. We have peace. We have purity. We have power. We have light. We have light. We have abundant life and eternal life. We have joy and joy unspeakable. We have steadfastness. We have stability. We have courage. We have fearlessness. We have triumph. We have victory. We have all desirable blessings. And we have all spiritual benefits. You become a possessor of the heavenly inheritance. You have it. You will not lag. Your family will not lag. Your children will not lag. Your parents will not lag. Abundance in your life through the word in Jesus' name. Let's come to First Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder ye all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for God resisteth the proud but giveth grace to the humble giveth grace to the humble have you noticed there the two sets of people there the proud they lose a lot God receives them, keeps them at arm's length, at a distance. But the other group, the humble, God gives us more grace. God give you more grace. Verse 6, humble yourselves, therefore, 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 because of what you will give to the humble, because of what you will do to the humble, 
because of the exaltation is bringing to the humble humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God you will not be under the mysterious hand of Satan Satan will not be on the roof of your house if there's any sound there it's either you know something electronic is sounding there or the wind is blowing something there the wind is not satan satan will not be on your roof just just be humble many problems are solved just walk softly in the sight of god many of the things we are complaining about on the one hand the word is coming unto you and the word will heal all your sicknesses on the other hand you are humble and because of that humility your healing is already confirmed you are well i am well you are well in jesus name amen enemy of righteousness enemy of the Jews enemy of progress enemy the one bragging and said I will finish him if you bow and bend because Haman said I will finish him that one is not humility that one is fear I'm afraid he said they will finish me but they cannot finish you look up at me here can they finish me anything that cannot finish me cannot finish you you know how old I am now you will be as old as I am older 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 in Jesus name the promise of God will be fulfilled in your life the young will grow the downtrodden will be exalted. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be delivered. The sorrowful will become glad. There's another law. It's the law of sowing and reaping. You take the seed. You put it in the ground. It cannot go lower than that. And then that seed that is down will come up. Will grow up will bear fruit and the fruit will be profitable for society congratulations praise the lord you have a testimony the lord will put testimony in your mouth in jesus name you know don't go about saying i have no body you have god you have christ you have the holy spirit you have the promise of God. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. You have inheritance in heaven. And you have your Savior, the Spirit, the Comforter, abiding with you. All your cares are taken care of. And I say unto you, ask, is your friend? It shall be given unto you. Seek, is your friend? You shall find. Knock, Look at the door of your friend, and it shall be opened unto you. I am blessed. I am blessed. In Psalm 61, Psalm 61, verse 2. Psalm 61, verse 2. From the end of the earth, when I cry, when I call, I pray unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed, when it appears the water is getting into the boat and is filling up the boat and the water is seeping into my heart and the sorrow is getting into my inner man and when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You'll come out of that sea. Out of that ocean. Out of the deep waters. And whatever has tried to overwhelm you. The Lord, where are you now? I said, where are you? The Lord will take that hand you are raising up. He will lift you up out of the sea. And it would lift you to the rock that is higher than yourself. Higher. Higher.
I am. I am. What are they? I am. What are they? I am. I rejoice with you. The trouble is over. The suffering is over. The overwhelming deluge of the devil is over in Jesus' name. Higher. 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 Tell him, he'll lift you up higher. Tell him, tell him, tell him, he'll lift you up higher. Higher. No problem he cannot solve. Higher. No soul he cannot save. Higher. No depression he cannot take away. Higher. No suffering he cannot remove. Higher. No problem he cannot solve. Higher. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me, lead me, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. The Lord has answered your prayer. The Lord has seen your tears. He has wiped all your tears away. The Lord has taken all your bodies away. He has solved your problem. As you go out now, you go out in the joy of the Lord. I am blessed. Where is he? Where is she? You are blessed in Jesus' name.